Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll give an introduction to algebra. We'll see together what do we mean by algebra. We will define variables. We'll see what do we mean by terms, expressions, and equations. Finally, we will do some substitutions into algebraic expressions. Now, what is algebra? Algebra, it is the part of mathematics that uses letters and symbols to represent numbers and quantities. In other words, algebra is nothing but mathematics using X. Now, we will define variables. A variable is a symbol which represents a quantity that can vary. Simple example for variables. Let W be the weight of a specific child. We know that the weight is a quantity that varies. Why? Because as time passes, the weight of the child will change. So we consider weight as a variable. And we represent it by the symbol W. This is an example how to use the variable X. Assume that we have a classroom that has 40 students. Out of them, 15 are girls. So the question is how many are boys? Or how many boys do we have in this classroom? So if we want to use the variable X, the first step, let X be the number of boys. Because we don't know the boys. So we put the number of boys or we represent it as the variable X. But what is the thing that we know about the number or the total number of students? We know that boys plus girls equal 40. So we will replace boys with its number, but we don't know it. So it's going to be X and we will replace X uh, or girls with the number that we know, which is 15. So the next step, boys replace with x, girls replace with 15. So x plus 15 is equal 40. Now, what is the number? Let's start guessing. What's the number? If we add it to 15, we will get 40. So we know that the answer should be 25. In the next videos, we will see together the uh, steps how to solve equations. But since we didn't do that, that yet, so we are using the guessing now. So what's the number? Plus 15, give us 40, because the answer is 25. Now, we will see together what do we mean by terms, expressions, and equations. Suppose we have the following example. 3x minus 4 is equal 11. 3x is considered to be a term. By the way, 4 also considered to be a term. Anything without the, the, the plus and minus or the positive and negative is considered to be the term. What is the expression? Expression is a mathematical sentence that has no equal sign. Example, if we take 3x minus 4, it's considered to be an expression. Finally, what do you mean by the equation or an equation? It's a complete sentence that has an equal sign. So if we take the whole example here, 3x minus 4 equal 11, this is considered to be an equation. So an equation has an equal sign. 
Now, what are the parts of the algebraic expressions? Example, if we have like 3x minus 4, we'll see together what is 3, what's x, and what's 4. 3 is considered to be the coefficient. x is considered to be the variable. 4 is considered to be a constant. You can consider 4 or negative 4 if you want. It's considered to be the, the, uh, the constant. If we consider as positive 4, so we should uh, consider th this as a minus between the two terms. So again, what is the coefficient? The coefficient, the coefficient is the number that's multiplied by the variable. So when, when I say 3x, it means 3 multiplied. There is a multiplication here by the variable x. So the number that's connected or multiplied by the variable, which is the symbol or the letter, is considered to be coefficient. The variable is known to be a symbol like x, y, a, whatever. And the number alone is considered to be the constant. More examples. Example number two. X plus two. Now X, if I ask you, what do you expect the coefficient to be? It's X. The coefficient should be one. So whenever we don't write the coefficient, consider it as one. For sure that you know the variable which is x and the constant here is 2. now what if i said negative x plus 2 what is the coefficient it's negative 1. so 1 is not written we don't write 1 negative 1 is the coefficient and x is the variable and finally 2 is the constant what about negative 3y? The coefficient is negative 3. And y is the variable. What about the, the constant? Since we didn't write the constant, so it's 0. Because we can write it as plus or minus 0. Now, we will do substitution into algebraic expressions. Let me give you the following example. Evaluate. If I gave you an algebraic expression which is x plus 1, but I want you to evaluate this at x is equal 4. So what do you mean by evaluating? It means you substitute or you replace the variable with the value given here. So the advice is to replace each x with 4 but be careful put it as an advice put it between two brackets so write it as 4 plus 1 do we have a problem with the bracket no we don't have we will see together later why we need brackets sometimes we know that 4 plus 1 is equal 5 another example 2x minus 3 if x is equal 1 do you remember what I said about 2x? 2 times x. So write 2 and then open brackets minus 3. What we should put inside this bracket? 1. So 2 times 1 minus 3, which is 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3. And finally, 2 minus 3 is known to be negative 1. more examples negative 5x plus 9 if x is equal to so I'll replace x with a bracket negative 5 bracket plus 9 what should I write inside this bracket 2 so it's negative 5 times 2 which is negative 10 plus 9 negative 10 plus 9 is known to be negative 1. 
fourth example. 3x minus 5 if x is equal negative 1. So I replace x with brackets, with a bracket. 3 and then a bracket minus 5. We know that x is equal negative 1, so I write inside this bracket negative 1. 3 times negative 1. This is one of the reasons why I ask to put brackets. Because sometimes you will consider it as 3, 3 minus 1. No, it's 3 times one, negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 5. Negative 3, negative 5 is equal negative 8. Fifth example. In this example, we have two variables. The first one, which is x, and the second one, which is y. So we should have two substitutions. x is equal to and y is equal 1. So instead of x, I write a bracket. Instead of y, I write another bracket. Plus 1. x will be replaced with 2. So it's 2. And y will, will be replaced by 1. Negative 2, 2 times 1, 2, plus 1. 2 and negative 2 will cancel each other, and the answer is plus 1 or positive 1. Example number 6. We have x squared plus 2x in case of x is equal negative 1. This is another reason why I ask you to put brackets. So instead of x, I replace it with a bracket. Be careful. We have a square here. So keep the square. The only thing that you should replace it with bracket only x. If there is a square, if there is any other exponent, please write it as it is. Plus 2 times another bracket. Now we should replace both brackets by negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 1 here, which is equal. Do you remember negative raised to an even number? So this should be positive. So negative 1 to the power 2, which is 1. Be careful now here. Positive 2 times negative 1. Positive times negative is negative. Now forget the, the signs. 2 times 1 is known to be 2. 1 minus 2 is known to be negative 1. Example number 7. Negative 3x plus y minus 7. x is negative 2, y is 0. So I replace x and y by brackets. Negative 3 bracket plus bracket negative 7 or minus 7. So I replace x with negative 2 and I replace y with 0. Negative 3 times negative 2, which is to be positive 6 and this one is 0 but this one is negative 7 positive, se positive 6 and negative 7 is equal negative 1 exam number 8 3x squared plus x plus 5y minus 6 we have x equal negative 3 we have y equal 1 so I replace x and x again and y here by brackets 3 and then bracket square plus instead of x bracket plus 5 and then bracket and then negative 6. And the first one or the first bracket it represents x so it should be replaced with or filled with negative 3. The second one is x negative 3 and then 5 y y is equal 1. First of all keep the, the 3 square. Negative 3, this one is even. Remember, the answer should be a positive. So negative 3 squared is equal 9. Keep the bracket, please. Now, positive and negative. Positive and negative, multiply them. Positive and negative should, should give us negative. 5 and 1 should give us 5 and then negative 6. 3 times 7 is known to be 27. This is negative. Negative 3 plus 5, negative 6. 27 
minus 3 is 24 plus 5 is 29 minus 6 which is 23 Example number nine, we have x, y. Whenever we write x, y, it means x times y. We have x equal two, y equal negative three. So x and y will be replaced by two brackets. And the brackets are multiplied by each other, plus five. And the first one, we will put two because it represents the x. And the second one, we will put negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is known to be negative 6 plus 5. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. Example number 10. 3x squared y minus 6y. We have x equal negative 1 and y equal 2. So again, I'll replace all x's and y's by brackets. So the first one is x squared, so it will be replaced by bracket square. And then y will be replaced by another bracket. Minus 6, y will be replaced by a bracket. 3. Sorry, I have to follow the brackets. The first x will be replaced by negative 1 squared. y will be replaced by 2. And this y will be replaced by 2. So it's 3. Negative 1 square, 2 is even, so it will be 1 times 2 minus, sorry, minus 6 times plus 2 minus times positive is equal negative. 6 times 2 is known to be 12. Here, 3 times 1 times 2, which is 6. 6 minus 12, and the answer is negative 6. Please like and share the video. Please also subscribe in the channel. Thanks for watching.